and we appear to be away. Everything looking good. Well, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we're going to be playing some Mountain Blade Warband, so the older one, uh, with Warsword Conquest. So I was just getting that loaded up here now. Win it. And we are away. So we're going to be playing a new game. And we're going to be going for the Vampires. I've um, never played the Vampires on the older version. Not really played this version. So I'm going to have some magic and bits and bobs in there. So we're going to be playing as a Vampire. Wait a minute. What was a big skin? Experimental. Okay. Uh, so we were... A Sylvanian noble, uh, but we, in our early life, we were a field worker. With your, you set out to become a vampire lord, definitely, and we are lusting for money and power, so we became an adventurer. We will say without quitting, just because there may be some issues here. So, we are going to be a Dougie von Karstein. The lesser known, is it? Yeah, it's got to be E-I-N, hasn't it? The lesser known brother of the Karsteins. Hello there, Joe. Nice to see you in there, man, straight away. So we've got another point here. Um, the break points, of course, being three. I think intelligence is the way to go because we want to get magic control, magic power, and magic control. I mean, we've we've got a couple in power strike already. Ah, so we've got we've got power draw that we didn't really need. Um, that's a shame. We've also got riding that we didn't really need. Yeah, I'm not I'm not overly fond of that starting. I did that just as a bit of a joke, but I'm not sure we really like this character, you know. Uh new is a is a, <laughs> a potentially strange term to use. It's it's actually quite an old game, but yeah, we've not we've not played it on the uh on the channel before. So I am going to restart just because I didn't realize quite how much effect it was going to have. Where? Oh, Sylvania. There we go. So we're just going to uh, just going to quit without saving. We're going to start again there. And we'll pick something that, that's probably more relevant to what we're actually doing. Uh, field worker giving us bow and arrow, I imagine. Uh, so let's go again. So we will be a vamp. Sorry that you can't see this for for all of that. So we'll be we'll say our father was a Sylvanian noble. Uh, as a child, we spent our days as a scholar's pupil, and we want to be a vampire lord. And we will set out for lust of money and power. Let's just see how we go there. Let's say without quitting. Okay. So we still get the power draw anyway, which is interesting. So it must have been. One of the other things. Well, we're not going to restart again. That's fine. We'll go to the same sort of stats. We'll go for the, the magic as we need it. And we'll bang all that in firearms. We're not going to be using a gun. But spells work on that front as well. So we will go Dougie Von Karstein. There we go. And I don't really know what sort of faces we can get here, but we're looking for a, a Dougie sort of face. They're kind of all very cheek bony, aren't they? It's not a great deal of variance in the face there. We'll go with that one. So that's our man, Dougie. And we will set off to Dragonov. So to begin with, uh, we will just take a little look at the Necromancer's Guild. I would like to know what I can learn. We want the Law of Vampires. Choose the Law of Vampires, and I will commit to that. I would like to look at spells. Now, we've only got 180 gold here, so we've not, not got a lot at all. But we did start off with Essays on Logic, which is pretty good. I don't know what that gives us, but that's something. So, Invocation will heal. Uh, Gaze of Nagash deals damage. So it's a major magic missile, actually. Do we have... Oh, Ray's dead. Summon. Turn to smoke. Void of death. Explosive AoE. Curse of years, explosive AoE. 
but uh, yeah, it turns out Magic Missile is going to be very expensive. Casting costs nine. Okay, well, never mind. We need Magic Competency level uh, five for that as well, so we're actually quite far away. Hey there, Nocturnal Gamer. Nice to see you, my friend. Not seen you in a while. Reminds me of RuneScape. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are the graphics are on a par with RuneScape, but it is quite different to it. Uh, we, shall, uh, we shall see that now. Now, if we were to just head, head out here, in the base game, there would be groups of looters wearing, you know, potato sack clothes with wrenches and clubs. But in this game, there's going to be cave trolls, well, chaos trolls, all sorts of goblins and whatnot. And, of course, there's dungeons over here, too. So, as the runt of the litter of the Von Karsteins, we are going to need to buddy up with... Oh, right. um, I mean, I'll pay you. I'll give you 23 gold to leave me alone, Graveguard. So, we're in our own, well, we're in our own country here, the, the land of the undead. And already, Graveguard are pushing around the runt of the litter. I've been in love with Valheim, yeah, the uh, the boys are all in love with that, to be fair. I'm uh, playing some at half six tonight with the boys. So, yeah, I can't fault you there with that. So, Vlad is in here. Vlad is in here. So, we're going to wait here some time until Vlad leaves. And then we're going to join Vlad. We're going to be his little, his little pet gimp for a while, uh, I think. So, yeah, they're, oh, some banshees. They'll wreck us. So, we're, we're looking for a way out of Drakenhof, really, without getting killed. Where is anybody? I don't really want to be sitting in um, Vlad, in Vlad or... We'll go to Heinrich Kremler's army, I think, because we don't want to be working with our von Karnstein brethren. <laughs> yeah, it's quite easy to lose time in Voltheim. I haven't played it that much, if I'm honest. I've played a bit, but the uh, the boys absolutely love it. So we'll request entry here for the time being, and we're just going to wait for, for Kremler, Kemler to leave, and then we can join his army. I think he, yeah, he's just, he's just left there. Oh, he's got a big army as well. So we, it looks like we found him, so yeah, I'm, I'm Dougie von Karnstein. Or Karnstein. Uh, I would like to enlist in your army, Heinrich Kemler. You will give me, we start out as a zombie. Well, mate, I am a vampire. I understand the chain of command. I know how this works, but I'm not a zombie, all right? I'll 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 be the zombie rank, but I am not a zombie. We are a vampire, all right? I'm you know higher than you in the pecking order. If I weren't Dougie von Karstein, all right? Plenty of room for promotion. Well, I'll take that. So now we we wait. We just need to hang around and wait for our Lord and Master here to pay us some wages because we've got absolutely nothing to our name. Um, so we, we can cast the spells, but we haven't got any spells. We've got a one-handed sword. I don't think we want to be taking a shield. Uh, we'll return to duty there. Now, it could be anywhere from, you know, 60 seconds to an hour before he actually fights anybody. So hopefully the former... Oh, got my arm on my chair, caught under there. There we go, we'll do that. So we're not banging the desk. Today's stream brought to you by Green Tea. Available at all tea retailers. So, you know, sadly at this stage of the game, we would just be getting wrecked after wrecked after wrecked if we didn't hang around with a more powerful vassal. Uh, well, we're not even a vassal yet, but... Fair play, Nocturnal. As far as it goes, the uh, the boys, they have I think they've done... Maybe three bosses, I'm not sure. Um, but then they then they like moved on to another world and all sorts. So they've uh, yeah they've done pretty well. Yeah yeah the uh, the physics for building a house isn't isn't as real as as it could be. I think it's a little bit forgiving in that regard. So yeah, at least it doesn't just flop around you. I uh, I jumped into to their game for a bit and just was on wood cutting duty for a bit and uh, absolutely cleared the land around the the small village and dropped a few of the largest trees in the woods on the house. Fortunately, it didn't crush the thatched roof, but 
Obviously, it would have. It seems that the Empire are absolutely hounding us here because they've got 3,000 Empire, Empire troops and it looks like they are raiding our lands. And I can't say I fault them because, I mean, we're on the run here. We're on the run, so I'm not sure we've thrown our lot in with the right team here. Ooh, so our commander has uh, seen fit to attack an enemy. We can follow him into battle. We can, uh, well, we will be letting him provide us equipment. They don't actually do that in this mod. They do that in the older version, and it's a bit broken because it's quite easy to get the promotions and then you end up with top level gear. But we're not going to be getting that either way, but I'll, I'll leave that on. We could revolt or desert, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be following him into battle. Well, the odds are not in their favor. It's 10 to one. So we're just going to charge in. We need to get ourselves some experience. We're rather slow. There he is, Kremler. I'm taking, is that Krell? Oh no, it's just a white champion. I don't know if Krell's in this, but it would be quite law friendly for Kremler to, uh, to have Krell with him. We are very slow in our little morning jacket. It's not really, it's more of a waistcoat, but... Of course, Winter Magic doing nothing for us here. I'd be surprised if we even get into this fight in time to fight anyone. The Hell Knights and Blood Knights seem to be getting the job done rather quickly. Where are they? Where are they? Come on. Ah, just as we got in there, it's all over. Never mind. We'll get there eventually. Oh, well, well, we'll take those two items on the ground, dear lord. Thank you for that. I uh, had to build proper foundations to build on with six log pillars in the middle. Well, on rafters and supports for the roof before I could even put that roof down. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. I wasn't aware. I mean, I take it, like, once you get to a certain size, it's, like, that's possibly a requirement then. I, I don't think I've seen anything that advanced myself, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what goes on this evening. As far as it goes, like, I can deal with it for a bit, but... It does seem like quite a lot of busy work. Like there's a lot of grind. <laughs> and I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I, I can see what, I mean, there's a fair bit of grind in this game. It's just a different type of grind, I suppose. Uh, please just attack somebody, Kemla. That's what we need. Let's, uh, let's just speak to him in a minute. I don't know if he'll, I don't know if he'll give us any situation. No, I must beg my lead, leave. Come on then, Kemla. We're returning to duty. I don't know why he's just stood outside an Empire town. He's not going to siege it on his own, surely. They're going to have a lot of troops in there. Yeah, you never know, man. You never know. I may well do. I'll not commit, because uh, I only committed to this with, like, a week's notice for today. But that could be on the cards at some stage. I'm going to have to create a new character anyway, because the... Uh, the name of my character is uh, just a reference to one of the boys' names. And, uh, yeah, he weren't really happy, so. So we're going to follow them into battle. We're going to we're gonna lose here. We're going to lose. Definitely going to lose, because there's 562 uh, of us versus two and a bit thousand of them. So we're not going to be doing that well here. Fair news, thank you for the invite, Nocturnal. Appreciate that. You never know. Um, I say I'll not say no, uh, but I'm not going to be able to commit to that just now. I say I, I don't really play an awful lot of Altheim because, like, the recording the stuff I record, like, takes a lot of my time. Uh, oh, there's a setting that I haven't changed, I think, for this being a new game. And so these fellas are just going to stand here like this and circle around the enemy, which is unfortunate. Fair enough, yeah, no, it's a solid strategy. Get them uh, get them in there while you can. As a team. We would really like to earn ourselves a few quid here. A, a promotion would, would really see us getting towards that a little bit better. But these guys are just going to circle around now for a little bit. I meant to change that setting immediately, but I forgot. If 
I had a horse, I'd go and charge in there. Can I, can I, can I have that? Senor Hell Knight. He's got a face on his jumper. What's he doing? I, I did think about it, and I might still do that, but I'm not 100% yet. It might be something that I'd leave till the full version's out. I think it's still in early access, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But as far as it goes, it does feel like a kind of game which is a heck of a lot more fun as a group and not as fun on your own. Um, similar sort I mean, not the same as Dark Souls, because Dark Souls is fun on your own. But like how co op in Dark Souls makes the game a ton easier, cause, just because there's two targets... That sort of does as well, I imagine, for the bosses. I did take down a troll on my own, uh, or largely on my own. I got a little bit of support at the end from one of the lads, but I, I would have been able to take it um, just running away and shooting it. But, yeah, I mean, they're not that hard if you just keep moving. So, uh, certainly possible, I imagine. But I've actually fought none of the bosses, so I don't know what the crack is. Oh, right. First content's not even up yet. Okay. Well, there you go. But, I mean, it's it's definitely playable, though. I mean, as I'm sure you'll attest and many others. I think there's, what, like 4 million players now or something like that. So, they're doing all right. But I just hope it doesn't go the way of a lot of early access games and just end up being early access forever and they just kind of go, oh, well, we've made enough money out of it. Just leave it. I don't know why we're just doing the big... Circle dance. They've got a wizard. Seeing as we are definitely going to lose this fight anyway, I'm just going to run in there. And we're just going to... Just going to do our best. Seems like one of the... Wizards is perhaps... Yeah. When he casts a spell, it messes me up. But that's fine. So we're charging through the trees here. We'll we'll try and pick off... Oh, no, that's not the guy in the end. We'll try and pick off the very right-hand flank. But it does look like they are armoured warriors. So they're probably going to do us in. But we'll try it. Over 5 million now. Fair enough. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fight these two. One of them's a halberdier, one of them's just a state troop, I think. But we're going to try it. Come on then, mate. Come on then. Stabbing away. Parried. No, oh, he's got me on the face. Well, they, I mean, we're definitely not winning this fight as an army anyway. But they're backing away. Oh, just kill me if you're going to do it, boys. I just want out of this. Purgatory. There we go. That's fine. Two wounded. And unless our brethren join us, which I don't think they are, we are going to get whittled down to nothing. Uh, they've piled back in again, by the looks. Okay, so he's got free. He's got free. That's... Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's been hunted down again like a dog. All oh, right, so we got a promotion there. I don't know how we did, but uh, well, we don't want to be a range class, so we'll, we'll we'll be a ghoul. Apparently, didn't get a level up, but they they also don't seem to give us anything for that. All right, got a shield. Okay. Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't want to follow our commander into battle because uh, still two thousand of them. We're dead. We're definitely dead. All oh, right, okay, so it's made me into a ghoul now. Ah, so maybe you put the equipment on when you enter the battle as that rank, perhaps. Or maybe it should, but yeah. I'm not looking like my vampiric self. I've become a ghoul. Oh, right. I didn't realise there was only five people working on it. That's pretty cool. So, ah, oh, I didn't change that setting again, did I? I need to do it. Just put AI formations on. Because otherwise, the base game, they just they just do this forever. So, uh, well, the wizard's shooting at me. He's having a few pops, isn't he? That's where we want to get to, till we can wizard people across the battlefield. But it's going to take a while, yeah? Unless I uh, export my character and just amend the, the notepad file. <laughs> just give myself a load of money. But we're not going to be doing that. 
Oh. He's, he's frozen me. Give me the old freezing effect. Come on, man. Run him down. Hopefully this armor provides me a little bit of protection, though. Probably not. But it might give me a bit more than I had. Ah, uh, this ice. If I can... If I can tech out that... Crossbowman, by the looks. I'll count that as a win. Oh, he's missed. He's missed. He's got his sword out. Stop backing up, scumbag. Oh, he's got me back. Ah. Didn't get the parrying in time. I mean, we got some good hits on him there. Fair play. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear uh, you, you're sort of happy with the circumstance. Uh, so we might as well retreat. I mean, the, the army's definitely going to lose that. Um, why would why would I be fit for battle? I just got killed first. There's four of us left. Our lord isn't even here. Uh, there's me and some crossbow skeletons against 2,000 humans. That's working well. They're going to charge us this time because it's not a fair fight. I mean, these guys are just going to muller me. I'm going to go for it, but they're going to muller me. <laughs> In midair. Of course we want to retreat. We wanted to retreat last time. Oh, why does it keep telling me I'm fit for battle? I'm clearly not. Although I am now at full health for some reason. I mean... I'll, I'll leave it as a matter of subjectivity whether Goat Simulator is a good game. Or a great game, rather. Each to their own. Um, satisfactory, though. I, I mean, again, management game's not really my sort of preference, but, you know, if you if you like them, it seems all right. I mean, we're, we're going to be lucky to get over here before they hit us. I mean, there's a lot of wizards. A lot of wizards. And the infantry are outclass us on their own, just any single one of them. But I need to get back to the map screen so that we can change that setting so that they don't just do this. Oh, are they guns? Okay, they're not wizards. I thought they were fireballs. Come on then, spearman. Come on, wolf. Oh, right, okay, shot me. I mean, this is what the start of this game is like. Are you sure I want to... Yeah, of course I want to retreat. Why does it keep saying I can charge the enemy? Fair play to you. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with management games as a whole. I just, I don't find them that fun. I have watched stuff like that periodically, but not, not ever really been that into it. I mean, obviously that was going to happen. So let's, let's leave it a minute. Right, time to end the battle now. Okay, so it's counted it now. So we go camp, uh, PBOD... And formations, AI, done. Okay, so they shouldn't do that anymore. Um, let's... I can't speak to my commander, though. So, I mean, we're, we're just... It's just me again. Why is it just me? I've never had this happen before. I can't understand how I keep coming back from the dead. Battle advantage, minus 1,009. I mean, minus five is probably a sign you're not going to be doing well. But minus a thousand is you're getting insta-killed. Carl Franz. Crushing a ghoul. Can't blame him. And just to point out, we are on the maximum difficulty. The only thing that makes it harder is uh, changing lance control. But that doesn't make any difference to us because we're not using lances. So that is why we're getting wrecked. Um... I can't understand what's going on. 
I'm gonna do there's a Yeah, finally. Like, I, d I don't know why it wasn't counting them as, as dead. Yes, let me join one of you. Okay. Oh, uh, so I'm, I'm an enemy of the state now. Poor bloody Dougie. Poor bloody Dougie got slandered to begin with. Right, well, this, this hasn't started well. Let's try something else. I did I did play a little bit of Empire previously, and I knew that they went and absolutely dunked on the vampires, but I didn't realise they were going to absolutely dunk on us that hard. So we're going to play as a human. We're going to be for Sigmar. Uh, we were a... Our dad was a warrior priest. We are a member of the militia, and we're there for Wonderlust. So, okay, allow, allow, okay. So we got some, we didn't get any wasted stats there, which is good. Uh, so we're going to bang that all in there. So we'll go for more in control and then firearms. And we'll be uh, Ginger McGee. That'll be, that'll be fine. Can we even have ginger air? Because I want to be a bright wizard. We can. I need some bright wizard hair right now. I mean, that'll do. A little bit lighter. Done. Okay. Alt off. We're away. So, sadly, we spent that first 15 minutes getting dunked on. That that wasn't the plan. Uh, let's just change that setting again. Because I think I'll have to. Yep. Okay. So, Wizard Guild, we want to do the Law of Fire. Choose Law of Fire, yes. New spells. Well, we've got nowhere near enough for these staffs. Uh, 70 gold isn't bad. Uh, we're not going to be using the crossbow. We'll, we'll bring the sword and shield for now. We'll bring that. We want fireball. Okay, so that's not too... Ridiculous. That is something we can do. Okay, so Bright Wizard is worth the vibe, and they are better than what we've got. So, okay, we can come back for that stuff then. So, we need to enter an army for a little bit and hopefully just not get dunked on like we did last time because that is what occurred. Uh, Carl Franz is in there. I don't think we want to be under Carl Franz. Oh yeah, man! Don't don't feel like you owe me a chat, Joe. I'm I'm grateful you're here, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, if you're enjoying Dark Souls, fill your boots. So we're looking for a lord, any lord at all. Carl friends, because he's got such a large part, he doesn't get into many fights. But I mean, just to check there, Chaos Zealots, eight of them, will absolutely wreck us. I mean, we could hire some some chaff, but they'd still wreck us. And Chaos Zealots aren't even hardcore. Well, we're going to join Carl Franz for the time being. It's some steady pay. I'm Ginger McGee, and I would like to enlist in your army. Seems a fair work. Okay, so did he give us any stuff? Uh, not really. Uh, so we will take an action, and we will select a book to read. We will read that one. Okay, resume traveling. Return to duty. So whenever we're not doing anything, we will now read our little book there. Hopefully, Carl will get into battle. We saw firsthand how good he is at slaying ghouls because he absolutely wrecked us. But then, on the flip side, he did hit us with Galmaraz going full tilt on a horse. That had turned a cave troll to paste. So, your fourth playthrough. Fair enough, man. Are you doing like, are you playing like New Game Plus and then Plus Plus and then Plus Plus and so on? Or are you like, did you just start a fresh character? I mean, I'm glad you're getting your value out of it, either way. So, it does look like we're heading over to the vampire area. It does look like they're taking the initiative very, very quickly to the vampires. And as far as it goes, Franz isn't a terrible army to be in because he should. Have they already taken Beshoffen? Or is that... 
Should that... Oh, right, okay, it's already part of our stuff. Uh, but yeah, he shouldn't really get taken prisoner, Carl. Like, because if he gets in a fight, people should come and defend him. So that's that's a thing. Uh, Send to the station town. Let's just take a look. Oh, there's a tournament. We're not going to do very well, but we're going to have a go. So we we've got a sword and shield. Oh, there's there's mounted knights. Ah, oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Well, we're not in the we're not in the tournament anymore. It appears that in these tournaments you get to wear your own armor. And very possibly use your own horse. Because <laughs> that one knew exactly what he was doing. But we are we are marching in force. We are men about town now. So we really just need to get about a thousand gold together and not not have our army repeatedly get dunked on. So hopefully that'll be a thing. I mean, I'd love for him to have just fought those guys, but it's unclear now. I, I take it they've not gone over there to start battering those guys then. I think they just were... Yeah, just on a little excursion, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, is there a tournament here? There isn't. Well, we just need to make some cash. Because we've got 150 at the minute. I mean, we can we can sell that little bit of stuff we've got, but I'm not sure it's really going to net us that much. Once we can get Fireball, we, we really will start climbing the ladder then. So somebody's been raiding here. Something's going on. We're definitely at war. I mean... Everybody's always at war in uh, in here on out in Warhammer, but oh, right, okay, sweet, yeah, so a bit of everything. Fair play. I think you've uh, covered most of the bases there, besides perhaps uh, like a dark build or cleric build, maybe. Uh, but I, I mean, they're you know they're not a million miles away from sorcerer, so. So it looks like maybe we're going up here to fight Chaos Dwarves. And I'm okay with that, but the Chaos Dwarves are pretty hardy. Uh, Alright, maybe we're going to Chaos. Unless we're... No, no, Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, so we're, we're sieging Clytborg Castle, belonging to the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, Alright, maybe not. Changed our mind. No, nope, we're going back again. It's like the Okie Koki this. Taking it all about. Fair enough. I mean, New Game Plus, it adds a little bit. Um, so we'll go Spearman. And let's just check our inventory quickly. So he's not changed anything about that. That's fine. Um, not giving us any gear. I don't know if you maybe you get the gear in the fight. I don't know if that's how this mod works. Not 100%. Uh, but yeah, I don't think New Game Plus changes an awful lot in Dark Souls, really. Um little bits here and there and just makes things a little bit more difficult. Uh, but of course, it just means you can carry on levelling up a character if you want to. Oh, and they're waiting and it's we didn't return to duty. So we are besieging, I think. Because we've hung around here for pr plenty long enough, so we are going to follow them into battle. And we will join the next assault. Now at least we've got a shield. At least we've got a shield. So... Oh, right, this is quite uh, quite the dangerous castle to siege, isn't it? It's just a large rock fortress. Well, we'll push the siege tower forwards by riding it into battle. He's down. I don't, what, are you shooting through the siege tower? Oh, dear. I don't know what that did. Amethyst wizard. Nearby allies gain... Courage. Enemy armor has been disintegrated. Banishment failed. We have our fighting ability augmented. Well, that's what I need. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, the, the 
Miracles, a lot of it's late game, like some light blade and stuff, but yeah, each to their own, really. I, I always like the miracle builds, but again, I appreciate you you spend a lot of it just being a you know, strength build or a quality build or whatever, and then just the odd miracle here and there. Now, I don't imagine we're going to be doing an awful lot in this siege, but if we can get a kill or two, that should see us get another upgrade, another wage increase, and that should see us closer to a spell. Uh, my own blade, uh, Warband, <laughs> 10 years, something like that. I mean, Banner Lord's out, it's just the mod, there's no mods out for it. Well, there are mods out for it, but there's no mods like this out for it, and I just really like this mod. Um... Because I've played a lot of the base game of Banner Lords um, and like a few mods that change a few bits, but nothing that overhauls it like this. Uh, and it just gets a bit stale after a while. And also, since it's been updated, it's... Oh, come on! I pushed the bloody siege tower up and then got shot in the face. I mean, we'll see how our fellas do on the walls here. Oh, these shirtless chaos dwarves. They're looking quite angry. They've got some goblins with them. Who the heck is... Oh, right. They've... Are they Are they really shooting from over there? <laughs> Scumbags, look at them. This is where the real army is. Look at those hats. I like how they've uh, got axe bayonets. They're pretty cool. Well, it looks like we broke through the front ranks fairly quickly. I say we. I, I had no part in that. Uh, but they're, they're coming out of the walls now. This, of course, is not a fortress in the base game, by the way. Uh, this this has very much been added. But fair play to them. I think they've done an alright job. I couldn't do it. So the Knights of the Empire there doing pretty well. Pretty well. So we've had our fighting ability augmented, so where does where does this lead? Oh, right, okay, so that brings us up here. Okay, so they've got quite a way to go yet. And then this would probably suit the, the Chaos Dwarves and the Goblins, fighting in a cardboard box here. Fighting in a phone booth. Because, uh, yeah, there are knights going down there. A bit of a spell. Gold Wizard uh, Blades Fighting Augmentation. Well, we shall leave them to it. Uh, yep. We are too wounded to fight, so let's just let them do it. Unfortunately, till you get a, a bit of money behind you, there's not much you can really do. Which is less true for the base game, in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, I think I think maybe this game came out like twenty ten or twenty eleven or something like that. So it's it's got nearly ten years, if not ten years. Um, but I mean, I I think the mod is awesome. To say what they're working with, like the base assets on, fantastic. But again, like just the, if you just take it on the graphics and sort of bare mechanics point. Yeah, it's not that good. But, like, you don't get this experience from many other games, so. Fair enough. Yeah, Joe. I mean, you know, you're the one that's put the time in, man. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's good to hear. I just, It's just a shame that uh, I wasn't really able to carry it on because of... Ah, uh, sorry, we it again. Ah, oh, brilliant. I didn't want to rejoin the siege. I just wanted you to carry on the siege. Because I can't help with the siege. Too wounded to fight. So we'll just let them take it or, or lose one of the two. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all I did was pop it on. But as I say, yeah, the, the added extra effect in the mod, I think the added extra effect in the mod uh, caused it to just absolutely lose its mind and skip loads of frames. So I couldn't really carry on recording it. At some point in the future, I'll upgrade all my uh, hardware, but it's one of them, in it? You can't just do it on a whim. So, uh, you know, just got to stick to stuff I can do for the time being, but hopefully that provides entertainment. So it looks like we are 
winning that. I'm not 100% to be honest, but... Did we win? Yeah, we did. We won that. Okay, that's good. So let's just uh, have a commander's report. So he does want us to get some more XP. So that's fine. We'll return to duty. I'm not 100% what's going on there. It's just a million flags all at once. I think we were fighting somebody, but I was too wounded to help. Let's say, once, once I can get a couple of hundred quid, about 800 quid, I can get a spell, and then we can deal damage, and then we'll off him. Once we can deal some damage, he should give us some gear. He might not, but even if he doesn't, then we can start making money. So that's uh, another 180 gold, you know, another another couple of weeks, and we've got the money there. Could even sell our sword, I suppose, but it's probably not the best idea. But he has lost a lot of troops, lost about 100 troops there, and we are now in uh, Chaos Lands. I'm not sure we really want to be franzing around in this neck of the woods. Yeah, so I'll highlight for you. So, it, it's Warhammer, yeah? So, so Empire's here. Empire's got quite a lot of land, actually. Vampires, Kislev, uh, Chaos, Chaos Dwarves, Britonia, Wood Elves... Skaven, no, no, pirates, no, Skaven, um, not sure what they are, Beastmen, uh, Dark Elves, uh, the Nippon, High Elves, uh, Tomb Kings, Greenskins, Dwarves, so, the you know, you've got your various factions, uh, and as it stands, I am I am just a troop in the army, um, Karl Franz is the, the leader of the Empire, and he is, he is my general, so as it stands, I'm just following him around. But in the meantime, I'm trying to become a powerful wizard. And all I need is 800 gold to be able to cast fireballs. And once I can cast fireballs, I will be a much better soldier. Uh, he's not gone to the town. If he went to the town, I'd see if I could scrounge up that amount of money. Uh, but basically, what, what is happening is that I'm getting murked immediately. Um, because... Of everything. <laughs> I've got no armor. <laughs> They've got good weapons. I've got no stats. So just absolutely dunking on me. But the I think the beginning of this mod is is deliberately hard. I mean you can you can very easily cheat at this game. You can um you can just save your character stats as a notepad and then amend them. So you know if you if you were playing it and you didn't want it to be you can just make it easier. And I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty settings so like, it, it's going to be more difficult. So we've got 200 against 86. So I should get a good crack in this fight. Uh, I should actually get a good doing. Uh, see, I've got I've got Warhammer Quest. Um, like, the, the sort of tablet game, you know. Um, but yeah, I know it's, uh, yeah, I know it's an old board game. Uh, quite, quite a good one, to be fair. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been, well, I've, I've not played it an awful lot because it takes takes a fair bit to get into. But I sort of homebrew tabletop uh, RPs. And uh, I'm doing a sort of a Raven Guard one for one of my mates. So he, he just has to fight his way through a load of Death Guard units as Raven Guard. But it's a uh, similar principle. It's not, um, it's not tile-based like Warhammer Quest is. But go on, mate. Shoot him. Shoot him. Go on, handgunners. We we don't want to get wrapped up in the uh, in the aggression though. Uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah, it's it's just a case of you know take over everything. I mean, you can you could be your own faction if you want. So I could turn against Karl Franz and you know try and destroy the empire. But there's you know they've got about five thousand troops or whatever, and I've got none. So I probably wouldn't have a very good job of that. The aim of the game, as far as I play it though, I just set myself a goal, and that's the that's the aim. So for this, we we probably want to you know like own a town or something like that, which is enough. Die pig, die. Tusker, tusk gore. There you go, pig. It doesn't count as an enemy, but I just wanted to. Oh no! Look, shot in the back of the neck straight up. 
Let's kill this. He didn't like that, did he? Yes, great sword did him. They're stealing me kills, boys. Stealing me kills. Let me get in here. Oh, he's nearly whacked me there. Beastmen! Death to the Beastmen! Fuck all fronts! Forget him, mate. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, Warriors of the Empire! We're gonna kill that Razor Bell. Piggy. Is he on Death Claw? Oh, right, he's got Death Claw. I didn't realize he had Death Claw. Nice. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I thought I had my shield raised. Oh, now they're coming. Is that a Minotaur? Oh, they've actually added Minotaur um, graphics. Nice. Previously, there weren't actually Minotaurs. So we'll we'll be getting some reinforcements here now. They'll uh, they'll be coming over the hill. Got a nice crossbowman here. Just uh, just loving his life. Oh, he's took a hit. Oh, this ghost sneaking up. Oh, he just dodged it, but he got clubbed. He got clubbed again. Ah, uh, he's been clubbed to death. That Minotaur's a bit of a beefy one. He's going to take that horse out, surely. As if he took that on his shield. What a knight. Fair play. I mean, that's probably way more in depth than the the like Steam version. Um, they, I'm not sure they were classes on there. Uh, but yeah, sounds pretty cool, man. He's a corn go. He's gonna be going absolutely ham on these guys. Oh, they got him. I mean, we are gonna win this fight ultimately. I'm sure. So, we've got to retreat. We're too wounded. Yeah, there's only 15 of them left. So, we're away. Return to duty. I don't think we got any XP there, unfortunately. Uh, oh, no, we, we got a little bit. We're only eight experience away. Return to duty. So, we should get some overnight. So, we should get another promotion soon. Because I think uh, Franz gives you XP as you go. Yeah, 70 XP. There we go. And then follow into battle. Charge the enemy. So we're against Beastmen again. Got a gold wizard there. That's kind of what we're we're heading towards. I don't think we'll necessarily go for the wizard attire, but we'll probably Yeah, tabletop sim is good. Once you get it all set up and going. Never know. Might do some of that at some point. I do rate it. I am a fan of such things. But we just need to get a little bit more gold. Just a little bit more gold. And then we could be fireballing them from here. Skyboxes are new, I think. I don't think that's from the base game. Although the sun rising behind the hill there is proper helms deep in me. I don't think we want to be heading too far away from the infantry. <laughs> If we can stick in here, we should be able to just give somebody a quick, quick stab in like that. Stab Earth. I don't think I've got any riding skill either. I don't think I'm, no, can't ride a hunter. Night of the blazing sun there. Getting, uh, getting smacked around a little bit. Well, yes, I hit, I got the kill. Yes, uh, best a bestie go. Oh my god, I killed a top rank beastman. That's how I, that's how we roll. That is what we do. Got us all to play Silver Tower. I've never heard of Silver Tower, and a trading a trading card game. Uh, I'm, it, what Silver Tower is, or there's another one that you're playing. Fair play to you. 
like a good card game. Here he comes. We deal like basically zero damage. Five damage. But that is the case early in the game for this mod. There's a lot of stats and a lot of higher level troops and things like that. So we will get there. Whether or not we'll get there on this character is another question. But I'm actually quite enjoying the idea of being a bright wizard. I like the, the concept of the old fireball. Oh, he's brought me shield in one, the scumbag. Oh, he got me with it. I thought I had the parry going. Ah, oh, right, okay, so it's like a, an expansion of it or something. I'll take it. Fair enough. We will retreat. We will continue. We're too wounded. And we shall allow them to proceed. Return to duty. We don't get any loot because we were down on our backside. Which I think feels a little bit snide because I did kill one of those best of us. Digimon 2020, nice. Uh, I can't say I've ever really been into Digimon. Me and like a mate from your, like lower secondary school played the... Uh, there was There was... I mean, there were a few Digimon video games, weren't there? But one of them, it was like top-down hack and slash... It was proper garbage, really, but I like got addicted to it and just hammered it. That's about my own experience of Digimon. So we're in Altdorf now, so we might as well just head to the marketplace and see... Ah, 13 and 11. So we've not... We've not really... I mean, we'd get 900 for that. Oh, we've, we've read it. Okay. Well, we'll sell that. We'll sell that, get 900. So now we can go to the Wizard's Guild, buy a spell. Piercing Bolts of Burning. Oh, no, okay, that's not what we want. We want Fireball. There we go. Flame Storm. Fulminating Flame Cage. That sounds awesome. How much are these? 321. Well yeah, we'll take we'll take one of them as well. Wizard's hood. Wizard's circlet. There we go. Now we're a wizard. Now we're a wizard. Let's go, ladies and gents. Uh in fact, actually, uh let's just take that off because we don't want that on. There we go. So now we're a sword in wizard. So now we can deal some damage. Bunch of chess. Fair play to you, Joe. A lot of people seem to be into chess at the moment. I, I know some, like, some big streamers have been, like, giving it a bash, aren't they? But, I mean, I can play chess, but I don't find it that interesting. Personally, I prefer Blood Bowl, which is... Kind of like chess, but with dice. It's not really like chess, but it's kind of the only way to describe it. So we'll follow our commander into battle. And we're now going to be using fireballs here, there, and everywhere. So when we see the enemy, we're going to give them a quick pa. There you go. See? Fireball. And we've got our wizardy circlet. Really for the big trio from back then. Pokemon had the best video games. You got the best cards. Digimon had the best show. Uh, I don't know, man. I, re I really liked the Yu-Gi-Oh! show when I was younger. Like, the first couple of series, where it was all, you know, Heart of the Cards and you haven't considered my trap card. But, yeah, that, that kind of got me really hooked on the cards as a youth. There we go. Doesn't deal any, doesn't make any noise, but it does deal damage. 29 damage there. Fireball him. Fireball failed. That was a hit. That one failed. We got him. Think anybody there? It's a miss. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, man. If you prefer Digimon, fair play to you. 
So we got a bit of damage in. I'm not sure we actually killed anyone, but we, we hit things. A fireball, it doesn't appear to be amazing, but it's essentially an infinite ammo weapon. Good work, the lads. See, we didn't die. Yeah, GX was a bit... Mm. But then, to be honest, I'd probably packed in before that. So, but I do know what GX is and I didn't rate it. Uh, so, we'll return to duty now. So, we finished that fight without dying. So, already, granted it was probably an easier fight, but already that made a massive difference. So, we got some XP as well there. Um, we have got a level up by the looks. We do. So, more intelligence and more magic stats and more firearms so we do need to get some weapon uh weapon master so that we can increase our stats a little more yeah yeah no i agree with you there yeah it, you know it should have been about Yu -Gi -Oh, shouldn't it because that was it was his show is that okay oh, against 10 well these guys are not going to pose much threat and maybe soon, I mean, probably not that soon, but maybe soon we'll have an army of our own. I'm not sure it'll be that soon, though. <laughs> seeing as, uh, seeing as, as it stands, we're pretty garbage. So I've actually got two in the chamber of fireballs, which is quite nice. I'd just like to see where these clowns are coming from. I think the next spell we'll get is something that supports the troops. But we do also need some athletics, because right now we're not... Not very quick. Pistoliers and Blazing Sun Knights, absolutely dunking on them. I can't blame them for running off to the edge of the map, to be fair, but we would have very much liked to have, have seen the enemy. Fair play to you, Joe. Yeah, can't fight. I mean, I think you're, you're probably there with millions of other people. Pokemon was incredibly popular. I mean, still is, isn't it, really? Granted, I can't see the appeal with all the newer stuff, but again, maybe I'm just jaded. Uh, you know, again, like like most people my age, when I was a nipper, I had all Pokemon cards. Well, not all of them, but I had Pokemon cards and that. Oh yeah, the games are the games have um, have a certain appeal. If uh, if nothing else, nostalgia. Okay, so now we're getting dunked on. That's good. And that's good to know. For some reason, Carl friends decided to end up in a battle with fifteen hundred Chaos Dwarves. So, chances are they probably don't have much in the way of cavalry. But I could be wrong there. Oh, yeah. No, they've got cavalry. Please, Carl, save me. No, he didn't save me. They ride bulls. Okay, brass bulls. Are they hobgoblins? No, no, they are chaos doors. They're goblins. I wonder if they get access to Black Orcs, because the Chaos Dwarves made the Black Orcs, and then they escaped. Well, I mean, this fight is going nowhere. I'm too wounded to fight. I don't know why he got himself cornered like that. Uh, I mean, there's no point attacking, we'll just surrender. So, unfortunately, we're now a prisoner of this chap. And I wonder where Carl Franz has gone. Taking us to Trollbo. We'll past. And then we're going to have to make our way back, which is unfortunate. Our weekly budget is nothing, because we're a prisoner. Fair play. I've got to say, I've never heard of Pokemon Snap, but... 
If that's what you like, that's what you like. Fill your boots. Uh, so we need to get back across the pond here, and I think that means, yeah, going that way. Uh, so we're here, just marching across the land, little Ginger McGee. Chances are when we cross this bridge, it's going to be a Chaos Troll or something. Nope. So we'll just... So these guys, Chaos Zealots, I'm surprised they didn't come after us, to be honest. Now, unfortunately, if I... If I fail to find Carl Franz within 40 days, we will be considered a deserter. And as we saw previously, that makes us an enemy of the state. And we really don't want to be an enemy of the state. Because it's not so much my fault that we got separated as prisoners as it is Carl Franz's fault for getting us taken prisoner. I, I honestly never heard of Pokemon Snap. Evidently it's been out a while then if, it's, uh, if it was on the 64. But yeah, I've never, uh, never been aware of that. Yeah, I I never really rated any of the any of the games. I had Duelist of the Roses, if you remember that. I think it was on PS2. Uh, oh right, so now the Cast Wars have come to our lands, and they're now uh, dunking on us. Very nice, very nice. The Chaos Dwarves actually don't seem a terrible faction. They seem to have a lot of uh, a lot of oomph. Got you know big big um, probably big charging mounts and. A lot of firearms, so whatever you fancy, they've got they've got you covered there. But yeah, they I played uh, I played Duelist of the Roses, but see, I was thinking Snap is in like in like a deck of cards, like Snap at first, but I take it that's probably not the case. I think we need to get back to Altdorf really. Uh, that's where we'll expect to find... Oh, Franzi Boy's back at home. He's just chilling at home. That's not on, is it? You left me to die in the chaos waste and just went home, you absolute... Of course not, you're the emperor. I'm not going to slander you like that, but that's not the problem or the point, Carl. So we're in here. Oh, yeah, they're, they're very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What whatever the os opposite of ostentatious is. Hello, friend. Where is Mr. Franz? Seems a bit excessive to be roasting it on a spit at the table. Oh, we do not want sticky keys. Apologies about that. Pick the new one up or what? Do you mean snap? I assume you mean snap. All oh, right, he's took all his gear off, has he? All oh, right, it won't actually let us like interact with these, but there's Galmaraz, and there's the Rycklin Runefang, I imagine. So yeah, I think we've done quite a good job with this. <laughs> maybe, maybe not so much that, but they've tried. They're cool. Hello, I'm ready to return to your command. Thank you. And now we wait. Poker flu. Isn't that in the, that is in the like, you know, traditional games, isn't it? Isn't that what you put things to sleep with? I've got to say, I'm no expert on that sort of stuff. I've got a good memory, but I'm, I'm not an expert on that sort of stuff. I just wanted him to just do some fair fights. When I was doing some tests, I had some some good, some good luck with, uh, with a chain of of fair fights. Maybe I had about ten fair fights, and I thought, oh right, okay, the lords are actually, you know, taking on fights that that are interesting and fun. And I was kind of hoping that would happen again, but it, it doesn't appear to have. They've just taken on massive sieges or massively outnumbering fights that are kind of not that interesting either way. But it is what it is.
Chart of interest, Nocturnal. Have you caught the new uh, Requiem thing? Are you aware of Requiem? Be interested on your uh, your take on that. Uh, but of course, if you're not if you're not interested, that's fair enough. Not a, not an obligation. Come on, Carl Franz. Getting into a fight is an obligation, my friend. So we'll go Swordsman rather than Halberdier. Again, I don't think it's going to change what we're equipped with. That's fine. Return to duty. Come on, Carl. Get a fight going, man. Got all sorts of Chaos Dwarves at the border. And then essentially, at some point, we would be strong enough to start recruiting and become a vassal of Carl Franz and, you know, lead our army to victory. But I don't know how we would go about recruiting any other wizards, is the thing. We will follow our commander. Okay, it's against 28, so it's not a fair fight, but... Take what we can get. I might turn off their banner symbols because I think it's probably pretty clear who's who's on whose side. There he is, good old Carl. He's using a lance though. Get Galmaraz out, lad. Alright, there they are. That was over. That was probably a little over. Ooh, that was a hit. And again, we're on we're on form here. That was short. Don't get in my way, Demi Griff Knight. I mean, they look pretty awesome, though. They've got the beaky helms. I wonder how we can become one of those boys. Why are we just trading range with these guys? Why not send the Demi Griffs in? They'll absolutely mince them. And now they're charging the boys in. No damage, you absolute scumbag. That's one. That's eight. Not sure. Yes! Got a kill. That's a miss. wide headshot zero damage what a mess have we finished him or are we still war crime they're dead now surely see if we can hit that horse no just over never mind well, we've got ourselves two items, and we can return to duty. Well, we, we added to the situation there, uh, and we're following the commander again. Jo oh, right, okay. So this is now a siege, and with our fireballs, we can actually do something about it. Oh, we defended. Oh, no, we are not defending. We are the attackers here. Oh, I love this layout. This is very nice. A very Bretonian. They're up there, though. I'm not sure I can even get a shot up there. Hmm. 
Do we just do we are we just do we just charge across the bridge and get in? Seems a very dangerous position to be in here. This is a really hard siege map, you know. Can I just get over that? Ah, oh, come on, man. No need to shoot me. I mean, there is every need to shoot me. This is a siege, after all. But yeah, I've never seen a map like this before. I mean, we we really... Oh, right, this was, this was ours, and we're taking it back from the Chaos Dwarves. Oh, right, okay. So they're coming in with the Goblin Grabbers. I mean, this Warrior Priest will absolutely dunk on him now. There's Franzi Boy himself. Absolutely beaning him. Smacking him. Hello, bye. You alright? The boy does not wish to appear on camera. Evidently not. Well... If we could have got in as far as this, I think we'd have been all right. Because the Friendster is going to head up here. I think. Is this where they were looking out on us from? Oh, yeah. They've got a right line of sight. And they're on the ship. I didn't see them on the ship. Oh, wow. No wonder he murked me on the wall there. All he had to do was just aim down like that. Go on, somebody kill this clown. I bet it was one of these two who got me. <laughs> you loved Anthem. <laughs> were you one of those seven players that were playing it? Because, yeah, that wasn't very well received, was it, that game? I mean, I, I never played it, but... From what I heard... So we leveled up, fortunately, but... So we'll go Intelligence again, and we will get a couple of points in Athletics. We'll put that in one-handed for the time being. So we're, we're making some some form of progress. Strange that they're not deciding to join us, our Bannermen. But each to their own. By the looks of things, then, we did win. Just check our commander report. Oh, we need to follow him into battle. Never mind. George the enemy. Well, we're definitely going to win this. 63 versus over 1,000. Battle advantage is only 17. Still significant. Fair enough, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking something just because somebody else doesn't. Um, you know, if you if you feel you got your money's worth out of it, brilliant. I think that was that was just about the right distance if they moved forwards as they are. But I don't know if there's like a max range on it. No, there isn't. We did get the hit there. Got to keep trying to uh, just ping them a bit and get some damage while the lines are closing. And hopefully, use these horsemen as a as a shield. Oh, he just got shot in the head. Took it like a champ, though. Okay, now we'll stick with the ranged troops. Okay, that was wildly inaccurate. Oh, we got some damage dealt there, too. Oh, that was a wild miss. Very wild. 
Headshot on the horse. Not not what we were going for, but. Oh, he's on our team. Just saw the black and red and thought he was the enemy. Oh no, he turned. Oh, I thought I had him there. Come on, boyos. We can do him. Bit of damage to his wolf there. Says horse, but would have been the wolf. Looks like they might be trying to flank us here. Nope, they've gone down there. Yeah, I think I might actually quite like a horse. I think that would give us more opportunities. As far as it goes, haven't they axed Anthem? Haven't they just said, like, they've absolutely killed it? Like, it's not, it's not coming back. So I apologise if you weren't aware of that. More so if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Pretty sure they said uh, they were just going to ax it. Because they only had like 30 people working on it in the end, didn't they? Where have all these wolf dudes gone? I mean, I, I definitely can't ride the wolf. Oh, it's an armoured wolf. Does it just shoot through the wolf? Evidently it does. Yeah, I've uh, I haven't bothered with Cyberpunk because of the soft locking and all that stuff. I may well get it at some point, but we're not we're not going to be getting it until uh, it's reliable. And seeing as they got um, ransomware attacked, can't imagine that they're going to be doing that anytime soon. All right, okay, yeah, you're aware Anthem got axed. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Nocturnal. Yeah, if you can get, you know, you spend 40 quid or 40 bucks or whatever, and you get 40 hours out of it, you you know, you've had your money's worth, haven't you? As far as it goes, I, I I think most of the like most of the issues are console wise, aren't they? But yeah, I mean, if you've got if you've got good hardware, then you're probably not going to have an issue. But as far as I can remember, Nocturnal, you've got pretty decent hardware to not really need to worry about that sort of stuff. So uh, so yeah, that's probably why. Uh, oh, we could become a flagellant. I don't think we will. I think we'll become a veteran swordsman. I don't know where I don't know where we go after that. I don't know what that actually then turns into. Uh, maybe a captain. We shall see. Maybe a knight. Maybe he'll give us a horse. That would be very pleasant. But yeah, I mean, the majority of the issues were like console related, weren't they? But there are still like odd bits, but I think it, it's probably one of those things where it's like it can happen, but it might not. So we're not that outnumbered here, but we are outnumbered. Um, now, I don't know the quality of their army because I didn't get to have a look, but they are probably going to dunk on some of us. So... Let's see how we go. I mean, if they're a mainly goblin army, we might be all right. But, I mean, the Franz Master's here with us, with good old Deathclaw. And the uh, the Hammer of Galmaraz. But we haven't really got any other solid troops in. Oh, 
Oh, I did some damage. Well, we're just going to keep firing into the crowd of Chaos Dwarves, just to clarify. Oh dear, they just got shot down. Absolutely last samurai item. Well, firearms is improving. They've got some kind of big Minotaur fella. And that's the blunderbuss going off. Well, we can shoot him quicker than he can reload, so... Oh, that one's gone off wild. If we can keep shooting this clown and stop him reloading. Yeah, we got him. Good stuff. So, even if everybody else dies, we killed a Chaos Dwarf with a blunderbuss. And we are hitting that uh, Minotaur thing, or whatever it is. It looks like a Minotaur from here. We are hitting him in the face. I think I just hit my own troop there, maybe. 10 damage, adds up. Can't have infinite health, so... Stay back, the boys. Stay back. Let's fire into their reinforcements. It looks like they've got another Minotaur in coming. Firearms is improving, which is nice. It's them blunderbusses, though, that are absolutely withering with fire. I mean, we're getting some good XP on the old firearms, though. I'd love to get myself one of those uh, demogriffs, though. Admittedly, though, I'm more likely to get a bit of that Minotaur axe to the face action. 12 damage, that's alright. Another 18 damage, very nice. That one was miles away. Is there anything... Okay, our line has fallen very much back. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't even get 30 series really at the minute, can you? And, I mean, like, I don't know whether you've looked at, like, benchmarks and stuff like that. But the 2080 Super is, like, identical, really. Um, arguably better in some cases, from what I've seen. Like, it's, like, you aren't better off with a 30 series, specifically. Like, I would have a 30 series, but I don't have a 2080 Super, so... Like, that is why I would have a 30 series if I could get hold of one. But alas, that is not the case at the moment. Well, I haven't really tried that hard, to be honest. Like I said earlier, it's not like you can just upgrade hardware willy-nilly. But uh, I will do that at some point. That is the aim. Oh, we got him. We, we, got, we only got the horse, but I'm pretty happy I managed to hit him. Oh, I definitely took that on shield. Come on, let's get in here. Yes. Yes! Someone stole our kill, but I'm going to kill his wolf. Slowly. I'm sorry, wolf. I thought you were going to go down real quick. I don't want to chop you down slowly, but now we've started, we're going to finish. What is this wolf made of? Alright, he's, he's gone his own way. We'll leave it at that. Fireballs! Oh, headshot. 78 damage. 32 damage. We're getting good with this now. Alright, not, not good, but we're getting somewhere. Now, most of the kills are in our favour. Oh, okay, until that happened. They are absolutely horrendous at range if anything they're more devastating at a middling range because it really has chance to spread out then we are getting some kills though oh withering fire coming in 
Come on, take them down. Take them down. That's what we need, boys. Yeah, I mean it's one of those, isn't it? Like now, but now you've now you've upgraded it, you'll be like absolutely baller in it, I imagine. I'm just like, yeah, crank it. Absolutely ultra. Come on, priests. Let's get in there. I, I'm a bit... Oh, sorry. Oh, kill the Reich's God Knight. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was not my intention. Well, that was an enemy troop. Okay, we were a bit eager then. Aiming for the Minotaur. I think we missed. Oh, they've got loads of them Minotaurs now, though. We're not, we're not in a good boat here. Let's pull back a little. I mean, granted, we've got plenty more halberdiers, and you know, I know they're only state troops. They just look like dudes. If they all hit that um, Minotaur, they'll kill it. Chaos Dwarves resist magic, though, is unfortunate. Well, we're, we're doing things. No damage. 16, so that was worth. And that did nothing. Here they come now. Pull back, chaps. Pull back. That's it. That's it. I'm not commanding them to do that. I'm just saying it. The Minotaurs are coming. I mean, we might be like whittling down one a little bit, but we are not going to be making the difference here. Oh, I hit him back at head. I'm sorry, man. That was not my intention. I was aiming for that guy. To which we did six damage. Well, that was, that was some. Ah, oh, shotgun me. Yeah, the KFC comes. <laughs> what a meme. What an absolute meme. So yeah, as far as it goes, um, like, you know, firstly, to uh, specifically to you two, thanks for hanging around, by the way. Really appreciate it. Not sure this game's your cup of tea, but appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we, we won't we won't do this on stream again, by the way. I just really wanted to, to get some time into this mod and, like, understand what I want to do with it. I am going to do a series. I mean, I would love to... You know, be one of those dudes. If if I'm honest, their feet look a little dainty. I'd expect a slightly larger hoof to be to be stood wielding that axe. I mean, look at that though. Like they just they just one hit everything. I mean, maybe not Carl. Let's see Carl fight it. Let's see Carl fight it. They're like, oh, that handgunner though. Let's get that handgunner. Oh, he dodged. He dodged. No. I mean, Carl Franz did not fight very well there. Called a Kadai destroyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheering yourselves on like scumbags you are. Uh, now I'm prisoned again. Prisoned again. Uh, but yeah, next week uh, we will do some more Terraria. Definitely. Um... And see how we go. I might even try the Chaos Dwarves. Like, I'll, I'm going to do a series on this. Um, and we'll just kind of have the the fights and maybe some of the better bits. Um, I may also just amend stats so I can just sort of get straight into it. Because, as I say, for that first bit, really, there's not much you can do. So we need to get back over to the Empire. Chances are Carl Franz is going to have swanned off home once again. 
And as I say, we don't really want to be known as a deserter. Let's just speed it up a little bit here and there when we when we think there aren't any enemies around. They, yeah, they are Skaven Corsairs. I'm interested as to why they didn't attack us. Oh, right, and Kislev hate us as well. Okay. Well, there's nobody in there. Oof. I mean, they're not interested in us because they're just one dude. They're just like, well, it doesn't matter, does it? But they are fighting the Chaos Dwarves as well, which is interesting. Like, as well, like, is that, I mean, I, I think it is, like, a legitimate thing, but is that KFC console, like, actually legit? Like, presumably you, you can't, like, buy software on disc for it or whatever. Like, you have to download it. And at which point it's just, like, a glorified mini computer, isn't it? Like, rather than it technically being a console. Uh, let's see if Carl Franz is around. Because we need to get back into the army. Looks like he is. Nice of you to leave me as a prisoner with the Chaos Wars, our fair emperor. Yeah, I'll not forget how you fought by my side. Yeah, yeah, fought and died by your side, sir. But I'm ready to rejoin you. Let's beg my leave. And then while we're here, let's just check the Wizard Guild. Purchase spells. We've got two grand now. Um, so let's just head back to the marketplace. Just go to the armor merchant. And we'll give them all this tat. So that's an extra 143. It's not much, but it's something. And then let's go to Wizard Guild, purchase some new spells. So um, I'd, I'd take that tat off them again, but I'm not going to because I just I don't want that in there. But So we could get, we can't get Flamestorm, definitely not. Um, damage protection, not bad. Ah, Burning Head, okay. Yeah, we're going to take Burning Head. More damage. And return to duty. So, I don't know if I can actually cast Burning Head as yet. Uh, okay, well, we've got another Intelligence, so... Uh, magic Control, Magic Power. So, we can definitely cast it now. So, we don't need to worry about that. Return to duty. So, we shall... Hopefully get into another fight, and we can cast Burning Head now. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to make that the default one. So we start with Burning Head. And then we'll switch over to uh, Fireball if we find it's too much, or it's very slow or something. So we're, we're moving up in the world now. We've actually got a good, strong spell. Oh, okay, so it's just a little PC. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, I, do, I, I mean, it's a meme, isn't it? It's like, they're not... I mean, it's probably a lost leader, and they're not really expecting anybody to go out there and buy it. I mean, who's ever who's ever been like, oh, I really want to carry on gaming, but my chicken will get cold? <laughs> like, just eat it, then. Like, And also, who has that much chicken that they can't just finish it? Like, yeah, you might get, you know, one of their troughs of chicken but you know just buy as much as you can eat rather than enough that you need to keep it warm well there's only 11 of them so we're definitely gonna win this but uh we want to try out a new spell if we can and i think we did an all right job against that chaos dwarf faction to say the army that they had. The larger units, whilst they are a much larger target for missiles, 
they do have massive health pools and deal massive damage. I think if you can get them across the board, so to speak, then then it's over really. So where are the rest of them? Looks like they're over here. We'll let them get a bit closer if we can. Because we do want to make sure we land the hit. Fellas of uh, Batania there. It's a serious issue. It's called chicken cold phobia. Well, I mean, who am I to uh, to make fun of, of people's phobias? But it's it's not one that I suffer with. Me, I'm just scared of planes. And we missed. So it is slower. It's a lot slower. It takes eight seconds to refresh. But if we can get a hit on. Yes! 300 damage! 300 damage! What? That's massive! That's massive. So we can, we can only fire it about one third as quick but when it hits it's 300 damage instead of three so yeah that's pretty good that's a pretty good spell that's that's dealing damage that's like a bazooka <laughs> our previous thing's like a pea shooter and that's a bazooka interestingly um so great sword is probably the pinnacle of of melee there, but I don't know if Captain will be the top. We're going to go Captain. And um, we'll follow the commander. Only 13. See, now he's taking all these little basic fights, but we... If we had a horse, we wouldn't mind so much, but surely he's not just going to spread out. They're only little... little... zealots, aren't they? They're going to crest this hill just as I do, I bet. Oh, no, maybe not. Are they not over there? Yeah, I saw that. I saw about the romance thing with the, like, young... Um, What's-its-face? Colonel. <laughs> it was kind of to go along with that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, small upgrade in damage. I mean, I don't know if maybe, like, that particular model doesn't have any magic resistance, but he was some kind of Bretonian knight, and, like, Grail knights definitely have magic resistance. I'm sure they do. So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think uh, Fireball would probably be enough against these, these clowns, but we're not even going to get there in time. Two items, very good. Return to duty. We gained one morale. We are a happier, happier man. Well, things have happened. I could go and take out the goblin lair. I don't think I would be able to, but we could try it. Maybe we'll do that in the series. But yeah, I am I am liking the wizardiness, though. Uh, we shall return to duty. I don't know why that... Why that paused. Now, I mean, obviously, this spell requires a lot more stats, but not actually that much of a commitment. It's only, like, mid-stat. Um, the Gaze of Nagash being, I think it was 9 control you need, that's, like, you need to be, like, level 15 or 20 to be getting that. In fact, probably more than... No, yeah, probably 20 and bang it all in intelligence, which leaves you with no other, you know, you're not going to be spreading them out at all. But yeah, I think, I think law of fire is, is a decent, a decent shout for us. Actually, we shall follow our commander. What is the crack? It's only 15. It's only 15. Now I think, to be honest, if we, if we get ourselves a little horse and some state troops, we'd be able to win these fights because of the situation. Um, I'd love to know where they start because they don't always start right in front of you, but it's not like Battle Lords. You can't press Alt to see where they are. All oh, right, they're there. 
Let's go, son. Bang. 300 damage. So unless you've got magic resistance. One flash. Absolutely crumbled him. Oh, we missed. Flagellant in kill. Absolutely flattened him. Well, we didn't die. Nearly did, but we didn't. Return to duty. How very dutiful we are. And then really, it's just a case of doing this for a few hours. And then you're, you know, ready to start your own... Start your own faction. <laughs> Not quite. But you can, you know, you could start your own warband. I mean, we could release ourselves from service now and see how we get on, but we haven't got enough for a horse. Yeah, good man. Yeah, thank you very much for joining. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next week when we shall do some Terraria. If you're interested. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for joining. Oh, I've got my bloody headset all stuck. And there we go. Oh, and in the meantime, we're in a fight against 11. Yeah, I think I need to get a mount, because otherwise we're never going to get these kills. I also really want to get a staff. I just think that'll make me seem a lot more wizardly. Got a spider. Oh, we weren't far off that, though. Thought he was coming straight for us then. Yeah, see you later, Joe. Yeah, thank you very much for hanging around as well. Really, really appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Have a good evening, all. If you all wouldn't walk in front of the fireball, man. Ah, uh, we missed. Switch to fireball. He's down. Failed to cast it. Where did he go? That is down. So yeah, I think the next priority is a horse. One item in return. But we are going to need some riding skill for that. And I don't think... Okay, so we've got... Uh, well, we'll go... We'll go Intelligence again, so we can put two in riding. That's fine. And we don't want to do any of those. We'll return to duty, and the next time we get in a city, we'll see if we can get a horse for two riding. That'll be a big game changer. Go on, go back in the city. Go back into Altdorf. Oh. Come on, man. Come on. Just go back in the town, man. You were technically in it, but not fully in it. Oh, right, and you go into a, a castle, brilliant, where there aren't any horses for me to buy. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to request an audience, continue, and I would like to retire, sir. I must beg my leave. And we will go to Altdorf. Over the bridge. So if they not get munched. Okay. So markets. Horses. Stubborn. Okay, so we can get a courser for a grand. Oh, we've got a grand. Some linen as well. Very good. Hey, Murad. Well, I take it you've decided to leave your message. That's fine. Uh, unless um, Streamlabs did, for whatever reason. All right, posting links. So I think we'll I think we will try to just get a little bit of an army together. Uh, we've got five hundred gold, so we can afford to gather 
as many as 58 troops. They would all be garbage if that was the case. Uh, are they... Sylvanian Patrol. So they're not an enemy, but they're not, they're not an ally. Nobody wants to join us. Let's head over to Ravenstein. So we've got five recruits now. We've got our own little army coming together. Let's head over to Obelheim. And we'd really like to find a group of cultists. Because we can we can solo them now with a horse. Um, Sylvain in patrol. It's fine. Let's head back over to Kemperbad. Which is actually a town, but it's not in this. It's just a little village. Uh, but I suppose they can only have so many towns, can't they? So that's being looted, unfortunately. Let's head over to uh, Osos Langdon. All right, all of this area has. All of it has. Looks like the vamps are not keen. Let's head over to Alaskan. Hopefully we can find some troops. So the Kislevian people are not our enemy anymore, apparently. Five recruits. I think if we can get another few, we'll be laughing. But we do then need to spend, uh, to win some fights and actually have something to pay them with, because now we are paying wages rather than being paid. So let's uh, let's just wait while morning. Let's see if maybe there's a tournament. There is not. Never mind. Muck and half. So uh, okay, okay, this could be a fight. Chaos Zealot, yes. So that. I mean, they're probably not much better than, than our troops, but we've got more. So let's take the field, and we're just going to charge him. I mean, they've not got very good gear, but they've got gear. And we're going to see if we can... Yeah, we can shoot on horseback, which is nice. Now, these guys are purely melee, so we are safe on the horse when we're shooting. And we're going to slow right down. And give him a nice burning head to the bombs. 300 damage. I wonder how much Fireball does. Oh, Fireball's doing good damage to these clowns. So yeah, we can just wizard around them like this. <laughs> Ping them. Pitch yet. Right, and now the now the boys have come in. Hit a friendly troop there. That was not the plan. Oh, he's come in from the side. Give me a few smacks, but we're all right. Oh, thought I had him. Again. Got him. Good work, gents. Good work. That's our first battle. We've managed it. We will capture them. Oh. Could only capture two. Never mind. And we'll gather the nine items. So we got another level there. Let's go with that. Go one in magic control. And uh, pathfinding because that will help us get away from our enemies and let's go into Bishopen and get rid of some of this loot I say loot it's tat but very good that should be sufficient for now actually 
And we can upgrade a couple of these into, we can upgrade all of them into spearmen. Very nice. So they actually are troops now. They're not just plebs. And um, we've still got 500 gold with us. That's pretty good. So I wonder if we can find like a small party to, to kill. I uh, should have checked whether there was a ransom broker there too. That's fine. We'll get there eventually. I mean, well, nobody is actually our, our enemy at this stage. So we, we kind of have got free reign to just wander around. But I don't really know what, what we'd be looking for if that's the case. So it's just like small parties like trolls and stuff that would be the... So that's... Scouts. Don't think we want to... I think we want to mess with them. You better not be a manhunter. Oh, right, okay, they're coming for it, are they? Yeah! You just got wizarded, son! <laughs> so, let's see if we can uh, recruit some of the largers. Very good. They saw my wizarding prowess, and were like, yep, we'll come with you. Not got very much on the old... Uh, armor front, but luckily if they don't hit us, we don't need to worry about that. So we don't need to be over near Castle Reichsguard. It looks like there might be a bit of bit of warfare going on over there. Now, what are they? Wood elves. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with wood elves because they're guaranteed to have a lot of archers and be very good at it. All oh, right. Okay, there's been a bit of a fight going on over there. Carl Franz getting chased off by. All the Bretonians, or a lot of them at the very least, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. I'm sorry, Carl. Starting to get a decent amount of troops, but uh, we need now to fight somebody, get some money together. We'll nip into Altdorf, just see what they've got going on. And then we might... Oh, no, that's just a patrol. Tavern. Ah, Gotrek's here. Well, we haven't got the money for Gotrek, so we'll just leave that. Rumpold Swift Hands. Looks like a halfling. Not going to mess with him either. Nor a scout. Potion seller. How do you, how do you make the potions? Hmm... Okay, I'm interested. What do you offer? So yeah, we would we would like those, but we'll not we'll not get them just yet. Hmm. Thousand XP. All right. Just by experience, that seems pretty good. Well, not for now, my friend, but we we are interested if we get some money together. It's not too hard to make money once you've got a bit of a faction together, but at this point in time, we, we don't. So, I mean, we could fight those vamps. We, we probably could. They've got a high of Hawkeye and a Reaper, though. They're the things I'm worried about, so... Meh, we'll probably not. But then, I don't know whether I can take out, say, a Chaos Drop. Now, I've got Burning Head. That could be a strong enough attack to do what... I mean, 300 health is more health than most units will have, I imagine. So if we hit him with a Burning Head, we, you know, and, and Fire's good against Trolls in the lore. So, I mean, I don't think they regenerate in this, but... I mean, we could always check this goblin layer out just to sort of finish off the day. 
you know what? That's what we're going to do. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. So we've got forest goblins. And they're better than us. Those 11 probably don't stand much of a chance, but the 35 there do. However, if we could take them out, there's a lot of stuff there. But there isn't really... There weren't really any Empire troops, and I want to keep it purely Empire. So we're going to go and try and get these 11. I don't know if maybe that's what that is about. Like, they're just like a situation like that. So, yeah, 34 versus 11. Take the field. Get the boys to charge. And we'll go in. And we're just going to bang Fireball on for the time being. And just see how Fireball... In fact, no, we'll... We'll put the burning head on. We'll see how we go. Missed. Ah, oh, and he's met me. Okay. Well, that worked out swimmingly. That bloody cleaver has got, got some length to it. It's covered in my blood now. Oh, and is. I mean, they've took him down. They have took him down. And the boys might win this fight. He was their only um, cavalry asset. First fellas in there are getting kind of swarmed, but we are pushing back the green tide there now. The tide of 11. Looks like the boys have managed it without me. That one there just cowering behind his face shield. Well done, the boys. Well done. Uh, okay, so we... Yeah, we got those guys. Oh, okay, kiss love. See, the thing is, like, we don't want any of those. I mean, like, wage. His wage is more than three times what we've got currently. So, obviously, he's awesome. Gather the three items on the ground. So we, we got to level seven there. And we'll go under the point in intelligence, which will let us get to five, uh, six in those. Very good. But we need to get out of there now. So I'm guessing the goblin lairs are just sort of where they're spawning from. So it doesn't really seem in my interest to stop those being a thing because we could probably farm them fourteen is that it wow enemies movement speed reduced and accuracy reduced. Enemies take medium high damage. That's a flamestorm. Seems pretty awesome. So that applied to bow crossbow user game. Flaming ammunition. Damage protection for allies. Seems very good. Scarlet scimitar. Caster cannot cast spells while sword is equipped. Oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, right, okay, that seems okay. So we basically get a weapon that deals good damage based on our magic level. Explosive AoE, low to medium damage. Okay. Uh, increased hand-to-hand -hand damage. Fair enough. So yeah, there's a, there's a few spells there that are actually pretty enticing. So we'll we'll try and come back for those if we can. 
I think we're going to check out the goblin lair and just see what it does. Oh, it does nothing. It's just telling us that's where they come from. Okay. Well, 49 is far more than we are able to deal with. 28 is also. So what they got? They've got eight braves. No, 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 no. We can't take them on. Uh, 41, nope. We would need far more troops than we've got. If we can get an AoE spell, though, we'd kind of be laughing, then. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot around here, though. Well, the lands are bare as it stands. It's going on in Norm. I wonder if they've got a ton of uh, guns to sell here. Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. Yeah. Masterwork bow. I mean, I don't know if this is any more than any other place would have, but. Pretty accurate, though. I mean, we'd, we'd quite like that sword, but we, we do not have the 60 grand they're asking for it. So there's only seven of them there. I think we're going to take these out. Surrender or die. So we'll take the seven, and we've got not very much health. I wonder how much calf they've got of those seven. Okay, they hit. That's a miss. Oh, I think I, uh, I think I caused my horse to take that hit for me, just by turning it. But if we can if we can get the spears in on him, then we're pretty safe to just shoot at these guys. Yeah, three hundreds coming in, so we'll just use just use the regular fireball for now. Yeah, because it's dealing dealing good enough damage to them. And we just want to get the shots in really. Just start them all off. Oh, sorry mate. Shot him right in the face. Oh, you walked right into it. Well, we got we got the wraith. Then we shot him. He was already dead, but we shot him. All right, still chasing that one off down there, are we? Yes, five damage. Well, we got him. We don't want to retreat. We won. Good stuff. Well, we don't want any of those, but we'll... Uh, all right, we've got no capacity. More spearmen. More spearmen. And we'll take some swordsmen. 
So let's get rid of these prisoners because we can only take two, so. We got some gold though, at least. Hmm, where was it? Tavern. Beastman Merchant. Ah, right, okay, so they'll have dark, heavy armor. So they have all the Beastman gears. Very good. No oh, thanks. Well, I have prisoners to sell. Can have those two for 50 each. I don't know where she's locking them, but she's got them now. Well, we're, we're fast approaching the end of the stream. Uh, thank you to everybody that's watched. I uh, say I just wanted to test this out, get a bit of an idea of how I want to do a series on it. So we'll be back to Terraria next week, and uh, for the stream that is. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and put together a uh, sort of a, a narrative on uh, on this, and we'll see. I'm not 100 percent what I want to go for. Um, the The spells seem good if you go with the AOEs. I think you're probably probably going to be real strong then. Uh, but we shall see. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to go with bright again. Um, you basically, you basically become a pistolier if you're on a horse, uh, because it works very, very similarly. And to be honest, it's more enjoyable than that firearm uh, in particular, the pistol. But. I don't know, like, things like the blunderbusses seem really, really strong for the Chaos Dwarves. Like, I don't know whether we, maybe we just play as some kind of madman blunderbusser. Um, but I did I did test one of those out, and it didn't seem like it was doing that, but maybe I just didn't, you know, I missed the target or something. Well, you know, we're, we're probably only going to find one more fight if we do anyway, so I'll call that a day for there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the underhive.